Taylor Swift's Reputation album review The production level has enhanced, with little nuanced sounds throughout the album If you'd stop thinking about her reputation, you'd actually appreciate the musicality of Taylor Swift's reputation. Sure, she named the album that so there will be blog posts and essays deciphering the lyrics, was that about Kanye? Calvin, but listen to the music and you'll discover pure pop magic. On 2014's 1989, Swift showed she could deliver great pop songs. On Reputation, her sixth album and second pop effort, she has mastered it. The production level has enhanced, with little nuanced sounds throughout the album, including use of the vocoder, giving the tracks additional appeal. A good number of the 15 songs are bass-heavy and beat-laden, while Swift tells the story of her life in the last two years, going from tabloid drama to falling in love. She's striking on the exceptional end game, veering into contemporary R&B territory. Co-stars include rap hitmaker Future and Ed Sheeran, who is singing rapping in the style he performed before you fell in love with thinking out loud. Like the singles, Ready For It? and Look What You Made Me Do. Other tracks on the album have similar flair and a big sound, including Don't Blame Me, Getaway Car, Dancing With Our Hands Tied and King Of My Heart. Writing those big beats are the lyrics, Swift speciality. Some of the words hit hard like gunshots. On the thumping and theatrical This is why we can't have nice things, her target is crystal clear. And therein lies the issue, friends don't try to trick you, get you on the phone and mind twist you, she sings. But I'm not the only friend you've lost lately, if only you weren't so shady.